Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hey for the first time, why don't you subscribe and become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. Ever since I colored my hair purple for the first time last year, I've gotten a ton of questions about my favorite products to use and just tips on coloring your hair purple, especially when it comes to my go-to product, which is Arctic Fox Purple Rain. I get mine from Amazon. It's about $17 a bottle, very affordable and awesome results. Arctic Fox Purple Rain is my main hair color product and then you may know that I do maintain using Overtone. I just find that Arctic Fox deposits a little bit stronger and longer lasting color than Overtone, which is why it's my main product, and then Overtone is my maintenance in between product to help keep my purple from fading. They work together beautifully, and if you wanna know more about my purple maintenance routine, then check out the video I did all about that. I will link it in a card and down below. So over the past month, I had actually started to let my hair fade pretty freely, and it faded into a very troll-like magenta. So today I touched it up and I did fill my entire touch-up routine so that way I can share my tips on using Arctic Fox Purple Rain based on the questions that I get from you all. So we're going to roll it back to this morning so I can show you my entire routine using Arctic Fox Purple Rain. Okay, so before I wash my hair, I just want to show you where we're starting out. As you can see, a lot of this purple has faded into magenta, and then up top here you can even see some of the blonde peeking through because I do have my hair lightened underneath the purple. Also, my hair is just uh, in some need of TLC. It's pretty dry and a little bit dead at the ends, which Arctic Fox really does help with. So usually right before I touch up my hair with color, I take the opportunity to use my dandruff and scalp shampoo. This is actually the store brand version of Neutrogena Tea Gel, which is my like go-to dandruff and scalp shampoo. I talk about it in my video where I addressed my smelly scalp. <laughs> Embarrassing, but a video that's apparently helped a lot of people. Anyway, this is the store brand version, and this is not color friendly at all. So right before I touch up my color, I take the opportunity to use this because no matter how much my hair fades within the shower, when I use this, I'm about to put more color in anyway. So I'm gonna use this, and I'm not going to condition my hair. When you're using semi-permanent color, you don't want any um, coating of the hair, which is often what conditioners do. You want it to just be clean and dry so the semi permanent color can really grab on to your strands. So I'll see you in a second once I've washed my hair. Okay, so I'm out of the shower with washed, clean hair. Again, I did not condition it. Okay, so my hair is tangle-free, but it does need to be dry to apply the Arctic Fox. So, again, you don't wanna be putting any more product in your hair. So if you decide that you want to blow dry it straight from the shower, then you don't wanna be using any heat protectant. Again, nothing that coats the hair. So usually what I do is I'll wait about 20 minutes, let it air dry, and try to get all the excess moisture out with a towel, and then I'll finish up the dry process with a blow dryer so that way it's not a ton of heat for a long time on my hair it's just a little bit kind of helps minimize the heat damage because it's only really getting those last bits of dampness so I am gonna wait about a half hour let this air dry in fact I do need to run out and get gloves because I didn't realize I was out then I'll come back blow dry the rest and the next time you see me I'll be ready for application all right, so my hair is thoroughly dried. As you can see, very poofy. You don't really need to pay attention to styling your hair, obviously, because we're about to put in a bunch of color and then rinse it. Now I wanna show you what I got from the dollar store as far as application tools. I picked up an eight pack of just regular clear plastic shower caps. They are disposable, and uh, I just find these the easiest to use when coloring my hair. I also picked up a pack of vinyl gloves because I like using my hands. It's just easier to get the color through. And I do highly suggest picking up vinyl gloves and not latex gloves because latex will hurt while you're trying to run it through your hair. It kind of has more of a grippy feel where vinyl is more soft. I also picked up a wide tooth comb and this will help get the color through and kind of make sure that everything's distributed evenly once we start applying. And I'm using my duckbill clips to help section my hair. All right, so the color I'm using is Arctic Fox in Purple Rain. I actually have about a third of an old bottle left over, so I'm gonna start using that first and then I'll dip into my new one. But this is just my favorite hair color color in general. This is a semi-permanent hair color that contains no peroxide, no ammonia, no ethyl alcohol, no PPD. It's not tested on animals and it's a vegan formula. So basically it doesn't have any of that harsh gross stuff that a lot of hair color has. It's actually incredibly conditioning and it deposits super vibrant color into your hair. So let's just get started putting it in. So first I part in the middle and then I create 
space bun moments. And for the working side, I will leave a layer down and then put the rest into the space bun. Now, something I'm not gonna forget this time is to protect my skin with petroleum jelly. Putting this around your hairline as well as your ears and neck will make it easier to wipe away any color that ends up on your skin. And even still, you'll probably end up with like a little splash of purple here and there. It'll come off in about two showers. <laughs> All right, so let's put on the gloves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the purple right into my hand and you can see how gorgeous that purple shade is. It's so deep and rich. Rub it into my hand and then start working it through. And this stuff smells like straight up grape candy, grape Jolly Ranchers. It's such a pleasant smell, I love it. And your hair will smell like that after you rinse it out too. It's not overpowering or anything once you rinse it out. You don't get that harsh chemical smell that's common in other hair colors because this does not have those chemicals. And I can afford to be generous since I have one and a half bottles. I've used up an entire bottle before and I've used up two thirds of a bottle before. It just really is depending on my haircut at the time. But for the most part, I need one bottle for one use. And then if there's anything left over, I go ahead and save it for the next time. <gasps> oh my God. Well, that just ended up all over my floor. <laughs> Let's see if I can clean that up real quick. If you get it quick enough, it won't stain. Yeah, if you get the purple on anything, just try to be really quick at wiping it up. Otherwise, if you have a white surface that it ends up on and it has a stain, uh, Clorox bleach spray gets it out. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of the application process because you have the idea, right? I will say before I start fast forwarding, um, it is pretty important that you try to pull apart your hair as it starts to clump up. That way you can see if you have any missed spots. I wanted to interrupt this fast forward to uh, kind of just point out that my hair is lightened underneath the purple that you see here. Even though this purple is a dark color, it will show up best if you do have pre-lightened hair um, or like a medium light brown to blonde, you'll just get a lot more of that vibrancy. But when we show the final after, you will get to see kind of what it does to my natural hair, which you can see all this uh, roots, all that brown that you see, that's all completely natural. My hair is balayaged, so most of the lightning has happened kind of two-ish inches down from my roots. But yeah, that's just something to point out because I do get a lot of questions about um, just coloring natural brunette hair. Any color is gonna show up more vibrant on pre-lightened hair, that's just how it is. Now, if you're using this over previously colored hair that's not purple, I would probably suggest uh, using a color stripper before this, just so that way you get the most true results as far as the purple. If you have like orange to pinky to magenta, like how my hair is faded, then this will show up still pretty well. The first time that I used Arctic Fox, it was over this really faded orangey hair and it came out perfectly. But if you're going from like green or something a little bit outside of the family, then uh, try stripping the color before you use this for the best results. Another break from this time lapse. Um, sometimes my hair just gets a little too tangly to use the wide tooth comb. Um, so that's when I do reach for my little baby wet brush. I don't really like to do this just because it gunks up the um, inside of the brush, but it'll really make sure all those tangles are out so you can see all the hair you're working with. Okay, so when one side is totally saturated, I'll go ahead and pin it up into that space bun again. And I'm just gonna do the other side off camera. All right, so I have both sides of my hair completely saturated with the Arctic Fox. So now I'm just gonna take some toilet tissue and wipe around my hairline, try to get any purple splotches off. And you can kind of see, I have some on my neck and 
For the most part, they'll wipe away if they came in contact with that Vaseline. These ones I'll have to hit with some body wash in the shower. That was a little low. All right, so now I put my hair in one of these plastic hair caps. And this is just kind of to keep everything contained, especially because I leave it in my hair for about 30 minutes to an hour just to really let it soak in. And while I'm doing things around the house, I don't want to accidentally bump my hair against like a door or the wall and leave purple trails everywhere. So this kind of just helps keep things contained. So, like I said, I'm going to let my hair just sit for about 30 minutes to an hour, then we're gonna rinse, blow dry, and show you the final product. Now what's really cool is inside of the Arctic Fox formula, we do have conditioner. So you're basically giving your hair a deep conditioning treatment while you let it color. And I cannot wait for the final results because my hair has been parched and this really just makes it so super soft. So especially if your hair is damaged from lightening it, this will make it feel almost normal again. That's how it worked for me when my hair was bleached two times and just feeling awful. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a few. All right, it's time to rinse the color out and show you the finished product. Now, like I said, the Arctic Fox color formula already has conditioner in it. So when you rinse it out in the shower, you don't need to follow up with any more conditioner or products. After you rinse out, just blow dry or let your hair air dry. Then you can add styling products if you want and you'll be left with a beautiful color that I'm so excited to show you. So the next time you see me, I will be all styled and dried. Okay, I may have lied, I'm straight out of the shower, but I did wanna show you the level of staining that Arctic Fox leaves behind in my white tub. So here's the level of staining that you get after you rinse with Arctic Fox, and this is all stuck to the porcelain, like I can't rinse that away anymore. And this is the spray I use that gets rid of the stains really, really easily. So I just go and completely cover the bottom of the tub in this. And then I just let it sit for a few hours and the stain completely disappears. And this is the finished hair color. As you can see, it's a beautiful, rich purple and it gets really vibrant when the light hits it in the right way. And then of course, the lighter your hair is underneath, the more the color will pop. Since we put the color in over a medium magenta, it did end up a little bit deeper than it would if you had freshly bleached hair or even like light brown to blonde hair. When I used Arctic Fox Purple Rain for the first time, and I'll insert a picture here, it was over this faded peach shade and it came out like almost neon. It was very beautiful. I could probably get to that level of vibrant again if I were to strip my hair before touching up with Arctic Fox, but then I'm introducing chemicals that I don't want in my hair, which is the reason I'm using Arctic Fox in the first place, so. But this is the average result that I get now that I'm mostly coloring over faded purple, which is magenta. My hair smells and feels amazing. I just absolutely love this color. It's a great feeling when you get back to the color that you actually want your hair to be. Now, if you are thinking of coloring your hair purple, I do encourage you to check out the video that I mentioned, my purple hair color maintenance routine. I talk about all the products that I use to protect my color and keep it from fading, including overtone. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you want more hair color focused videos, hit the thumbs up button. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. And if you've done all that, then high five. But have you hit the bell icon so you know every time a new video goes live? Engage with this video in any way and make sure that my face stays on your subscription page. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!